A lot of people are saying, E, I'm scared. What if I do it and I fail? E, I'm scared, E. E, I want to do it. I got gifted. I'm gifted. I'm talented. I know I can write that song. I know I can produce that album. I know I can do that CD. I know I can write a book. I know I can get that degree, but I'm scared. So I'm telling you in life, you start running from a class, you start running from a subject that you don't like, it will haunt you for the rest of your natural life. It ain't going nowhere. But if you go after the fight, if you approach the challenge, you have a much ch better chance of winning. This is the fight of your life, baby. Are you hearing me? This is the fight of your life. This is the fight of your life. And listen to me. If you're going to win the fight of your life, you can't be afraid to fight. All right. Some things don't come. They just not going to come to you because you want it as bad as you want to breathe. After you want it as bad as you, you got to put up the dukes, baby. And you got to be willing to fight that thing out. Are you hearing me? Fear, you are not going to stop me. I'm not listening to that voice. I'm not listening to fear. I'm going to move by faith. I've come too far to give up now. You got greatness all inside of you. You got greatness all inside of you. But your problem is you a scaredy cat. You saw. And every time it get hard, you quit and you give up. And I'm telling you, if you would be willing to fight your way through it, if you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through it. If you are willing to fight your way through that singing career, fight your way through boxing, fight your way through football. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Fight your way through it. You got to fight the fear because guess what? Fear ain't bigger than you. There's greatness in you. Are you hearing me? There's greatness in you. And you mean to tell me you're never going to reach your full potential? You mean to tell me you're never going to be what you've been called to be? That you're not going to do what you've been called to do because you are afraid? Listen to me. The boogeyman ain't real. That's why I need you to, I need you to understand that you can have it. For real, you can have it. But it's going to be a fight. And if you're willing to put up the fight, I'm telling you at the end of the fight, it's going to come victory. You've gotten this far. If you was going to quit, you should have quit a long time ago. You've come too far to quit now. You need to get a reward for it. That's why I'm trying to tell you, never stop. Never give up. Never give in. Your boy was a high school dropout. Your boy was homeless. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I slept in abandoned buildings, baby. You say, how did you get here, E? Because one day I got up and stopped being a victim and I was a victor. Are you hearing me? And I took that one class and that one class turned into two classes and I got my GED. And then I went to college and yep, I told you it took 12 years, but what did I do? I never stopped fighting. It got harder and it got harder and it seemed the further I climbed, the harder it got, but I didn't stop. I didn't quit. I just kept fighting and fighting. And then I got to the masters and it was harder than the four year and it was harder than the GED. But what did I do? I got here not because I'm the strongest, not because I'm the fastest, not because I'm the best, but I kept fighting and fighting and fighting. Your boy got through the masters. Now we at the end of the PhD, baby. Oh, you're not hearing what I'm saying. Now we got the dissertation and I ain't no writer and I ain't no intelligent dude and I ain't no scholar. Then you say, how you going to get the PhD? Because I keep fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and, fighting. and what, I, what I will not do is I will not quit. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. Let hold of it. Some of you are so ignorant. You've been through so much. You won't quit now. You should have quit 10 years ago when you got raped. You should have quit 10 years ago when he walked out on you. You should have been quit. You don't quit now. It's the 10th while. You got two more to go. And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stepping. It's about stepping in there. It's about You can't take me. I fought you long. I fought you hard. If I was going to quit saying, you should have got me a 17, homie. 
You just told me when I was eating out of fast day. It's too late now. I'm in the rich car. It's too late now. I keep fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. And fighting. It's too late. I got people's lives out there. It's too late. You should have brought me a long time ago. I'm unbreakable now. If you could take this one principle that HW gave me, it, it revolutionized my life. It's about to revolutionize your life if you would just embrace it. Michael Jordan started, his career started by somebody telling him, no, that there's no way you're not good enough to play basketball. You hear me? In high school, he was told you can't play on this team. You're not good enough. Guess what he did? He kept fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. And even when he wasn't on the team, he was still fighting and fighting. And when he got cut, he never stopped fighting and fighting. And he came back the next year, made it on varsity, went to North Carolina. Can't listen to me. Wasn't even the first round draft. Sam Bowie. I don't even know who that is. Right? Sam Bowie. So he went from all of that adversity. He kept fighting and fighting. He didn't win first year. He didn't win second year. He didn't win third year. He didn't win fourth year. He didn't win a championship fifth year. He didn't win one sixth year. It wasn't after seven years that he won his first title. Guess what he did? He kept fighting and fighting and fighting. And when I told my man HW, listen to me, these brothers have shown me that nothing is impossible. He said, E.T., uh -uh, you got it twisted. It's as possible. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Revolutionize my life. He said it's past possible. See, this is the thing you got to understand. When somebody say impossible, nothing, you're still talking about two double negatives. You talk about a negative here, nothing. A negative here, impossible. He said, you got it twisted, Eric. It's not impossible. It's not that nothing is impossible. It's past possible, meaning that there's no way you can't do it. Oh, you're not hearing me. And when he said that, it changed my thought process because I'm going to keep it real with you. It's past possible. How do you not hear me? It's past possible. Meaning that not only can you do it, uh, you're going to go way beyond that. It means that the probability of you doing it is greater than you not doing it. You're not hearing what I'm saying? When you say it's past possible, that here, not only will you do it, but the odds are in your favor. That's a whole nother level. It's past possible. Meaning that there's nothing you can't do. That the odds are for you and not against you. So you go get that PhD. So you go get that master. So you go back to school. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm telling you? It's past possible. Meaning that all you got to do is start. Because if it's past possible, as soon as you start, you know you're going to set record. You know you're going to take it to the next level. You know what's going to be that you're going to do what's never been done before. So I challenge you, it's past possible.